Hey yo everyone, we are here with a video checking out Terraria mods that are upcoming that you need to keep your eye out on and mods that I'm hyped for. Obviously Starlight River's on this list. But let's start by checking out this one right here, the Endless Escapade mod. We're gonna go ahead and check out the uh, forum and the Twitter. Let's start with the uh, forum just so we get some information about it. So it says the Endless Escapade is an ambitious Terraria mod being developed for Team Other 1.4 by the EE team, currently focusing on subworlds and their applications. This mod focuses on adding in new features and mechanics formerly unseen or even unheard of by the Team Other community and integrating it seamlessly into Terraria. You'd love to hear it. So here's the features that they're planning to add in here. The Sea Map, a custom styled subworld with a new control scheme and new types of content unseen in Terraria. The Shipyard, a new structure on the left ocean that allows for the exploration of the sea map and allows you to build customize and sell your own ship that sounds dope as hell new islands scattered throughout the sea map with unique biomes to explore new features to make multiplayer terraria more enjoyable that's always a good thing to hear an original ost composed by universe in a44 cutting edge content with high bar for quality unique lore and story to enhance player immersion new styles of bosses to create new thrills for players many other quality of life changes to vanilla to make their experience more fun beautiful all right so let's go ahead and let's look at the things at the current progress area here starting with the c map it is a video i think i'd rather oh i just downloaded something all right i guess we'll look at the video like this uh i kind of don't want to show too many videos in this video just because i want you guys to watch them on their own but we've seen this before i've checked this out i think in a previous video but this c map looks dope i love the idea of this if you guys don't know i'm currently watching one piece so it's nice to have a game where i could kind of be like a pirate just like one piece and then they're trying to hit up this little volcano spot over there to the left very nice very cool can't wait to see it complete let's check out the next stuff here the coral reefs looking very cool reminds me of the uh starbound uh coral reef or ocean worlds i do hope that there's a little bit more ambient lighting like very bright lighting we got a bulbous tree it's a little hard to tell but that is a tree i'm assuming we got more stuff jellyfish very cool get some subnautica vibes here what is this this is like a web a spider web whoa little underground spider web and then we got a glow shroom and then we got some items and weapons let's go ahead let's look through these here it's always nice when a mod has some very unique weapons i feel like a lot of mods as of recently they're starting to get really really unique with their weapons uh there's a glider that's pretty cool that's that's definitely revolutionary that's different we got dalantin dalantinium knives that sounds like atlantean sort of race something like that we got more dalantinium steel bat my boy got a bat oh it's got a little like ground pound attack a little aoe the zip lines also very unique and very cool that's dope glider zip lines new ways to get around the world i feel like that could definitely be a problem in terraria well with the addition of pylons is a little bit easier to get around but it's nice to have even more ways we got a feathered shock room this looks like a just like automatic shock room that shoots around everywhere very cool we got long bows we got tennis which I'm assuming is one of the multiplayer aspects they were talking about, you know, to make multiplayer more cool. I like that. Me and the boys gonna be running tennis and volleyball. But yeah, other than that, what else do we got here? We got the tide breaker. Let's see this in action. A little spin up on it, and then I'm guessing like a giant explosion. Yeah. Let's head to the Twitter though, because on the Twitter, they got more and more stuff here. This one has audio. Nice little crackling fire and let's go ahead and just you know check out a couple of these here okay these actually have sound let me turn this down a little bit as you see they are playing it on 1.4 with the pylon back there but yeah their twitter has a bunch of more stuff we could check out here uh, i'm assuming this is the c map footage again so yeah if you guys want to see like everything that they've been posting join their discord follow their twitter they got a lot of stuff and the music sounds dope definitely some adventures type music makes me want to go outside just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. You already know what time it is. It's Starlight River, baby. If you guys haven't seen my Starlight River demo video, check that out. Check out Chippies. Check out whoever else did a video just to see all the different gameplay styles. Because I'm assuming everyone else used a different class or maybe they just used all the classes. But yes, sir, let's go ahead. Let's read through this here. A critically acclaimed upcoming mod with a focus on making fun content that pushes the boundaries of Terraria while remaining coherent and exciting. In development for over two years, we hope to bring players a spectacular 
spectacular experience with zero compromises and then it says when their demo release you guys can actually go play their demo and then we got the boss from the demo here Ciros, Cyros, something like that the shattered sentinel so Ciros is a challenging two-faced boss fought in an arena at the heart of the vitric desert however not all is as it seems the very arena you fight in may just be another tool to trip you up as he blasts magma conjures crystals and fires rays a heat to defend his temple so yeah we did fight this guy in the video as you can see here oof, the weapons they're so they're so beautiful they are so beautiful they are so unique and different from any other terrarium mod weapons but like i said as of recently a lot of terrarium mods are starting to get very unique with their weapons and then we could go ahead and see the gear that was also in the demo as you can see this one is literally spinning you around looking like some paper mario attack uh we got the ranger stuff here this is what i used i used the ranger because it looked very cool it got like a grappling hook and a shotgun the screen shakes every time you shoot it was very dope to rock the ranger and then we got the mage here cool lightning attack got a starlight shuriken very very nice but let's head on over to their twitter because that's where they post some more and more stuff boom look at this weapon looking like something out of noida looking like something out of i don't know <laughs> i don't have any other games to reference but this is cool as hell my boy is just busting on monsters i can't wait to bust on monsters too what else do we got here oh you can tell these weapons got some power the way they'd be shaking the screen man we got shotguns on a chain very very nice gun chucks i like it sounds like something out of gungeon probably existing gungeon we got a nice little penetrating rifle dude twitter be like resetting my volume and then he throws what is that a bomb at them very cool very cool i just love how unique all the weapons are it's just very nice to see like all these cool and unique weapons because usually some terraria weapons they're usually just like the same thing over and over again straight projectile with a certain attack straight projectile with an elemental attack you know it, it can get tiring and then here is how cirrus looks like in the boss checklist very nice but yeah you could go ahead and check their twitter join their discord to see all their spoilers and stuff look at this this is a part of the temple dungeon this is a puzzle this looks cool looks like something out of zelda but yeah can't wait to check this out oh even more puzzle stuff i love puzzles puzzles in uh video games like dungeon puzzles are always fun unless they're really really hard that or i'm just stupid but check out their twitter follow them and we're moving on to another mod here i asked in my discord y'all know any mods that are upcoming being worked on and i was hit with this mod from my boy walu nobody else replied I probably should have added everyone it's all good we got the macrocosm mod macrocosm is a mod aimed at allowing players to take to the stars upon the defeat of the moon lord enabling exploration of the entire solar system sounds amazing already reminds me of uh what is that galactic craft what is the name of that mod for minecraft and it reminds me of uh starbound each world offering valuable resources unique challenges dangerous bosses and deep lore using the subworld library aka a mod players can explore far and wide from the acidic sulfur plains of venus to the resting ruins of mars to the methane mire of titan to the frozen wastelands of pluto and beyond already sounds super ambitious and super dope i love the idea of just traveling in terraria you know there's only so much you can do with terraria so like traveling like the esca endless escapade mod showed off you know traveling the ocean and now we're traveling space i love the idea of it i do hope more terraria mods take advantage of the subworld stuff because it really is a dope idea like you can get really unique with it but yeah let's currently look at all these stuff here we got some items some of the ores we got some weapons some of the armor and we got the bosses crater demon moon beast war machine not the one from iron man not too much for this mod i don't think they have a twitter they do have a discord yeah i don't think they have a twitter they do have a video of uh, the crater boss it's not like a full fight because you see it says boss testing crater demon but let's just see a little gameplay of it like i said i don't want to take too much gameplay because you never know the video could be copyrighted by youtube or something like automatically but look at this this boss is like teleporting around very unique the boss looks cool i love the teleporting system the fight just seems dope it's always nice to have a terraria boss fight that's very engaging and different you know i'll skip a little towards the end just in case it changes up a little bit it seems like it's the same attack well it is you know still in development so i'm not too worried about you know it doing the same attack over and over again actually it is changing it up here which is good to see but yeah that is it for now go ahead and leave some comments of other mods you guys are hyped for and that are upcoming for terraria mod loader 1.4 
before and i'll probably check them out in another video these are the ones that came to mind obviously macrocosm was a suggestion but starlight river and endless escapades those are ones that i've been hyped for shout out to all the mod developers all the spriters all the ost makers all of you that were shown off in this video you guys are the ones that single-handedly are keeping terraria alive post 1.4 i mean relogic still updating the game but like you never know with relogic so shout out to all of them i'll see y'all in the next video